earlier is because the the collective vibration here is like everybody is so powerful in their own way but um there's a feeling of insignificance there's like i know who i am but the world has told me that i'm not and and this insignificance feeling and i was telling this girl that um you know i've had so many people come to me and they're like i feel like teal swan comes to me in my dreams i feel like she's helping me you know during the day and i know this sounds crazy and i'm like it doesn't sound crazy because she actually is there and um so i told this girl and she i said i said um set that intention to give her the message to give you a message back that she hears you and mm -hmm. i don't remember what exactly it was but within like 12 hours teal put out a video and it was like one of those like quick short videos and it was like talking directly to this girl and wow. i think that in life we go through and we manifest our proof that we are insignificant or we manifest our proof that we are wrong but if we go around looking for our proof that we are significant and that what we have does matter and that the world really does need us, then we start to see that. And not from an ego-based perspective, but a, a, from a place of we're here to co-create together and to share our gifts. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah, I love that. Um, yeah, so in terms of what I guess I, you're talking about purpose, do you think? Like it's, it's in relation to like what our purpose is? as well what is that part of it like what you're talking about is it about like finding like what your specific purpose is and like knowing that um you have a purpose and that you matter is that where you're I mean, going with that that's only a part of it though but i mean <laughs> like how many of us are like really doing well financially you know like we're all we especially like if you're um I think if you're like kind of like morally sound, it's kind of hard to do something or share your gifts that comes with naturally and then ask for money for it. Um, mm. Oh, there's Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Aaron. Hi. Sideways. <laughs> hey. Oh, what you're sideways, um, man. <laughs> you will. What's going on? Everybody's fine. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Yay, Aaron's here. Your internet Hi. on stage. Hey. It's so nice to have you back. Thank you. It's nice to be back. Hey, <laughs> your new place. There you are. Yeah, Is that your new yeah. place? Awesome. Yeah. It looks very nice from the small part I can see. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> the walls good. are nice. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good you could do the walls. <laughs> How have you been? Um, okay, okay. Yeah? You've been busy yeah, got, these last few weeks? Yeah, a lot of changes and a lot of healing and a lot of processing. Yeah, yeah. I feel like yeah. a lot of people are going through that. A lot of stuff. Um, yeah, Sammy, you were saying as well, you've been going through a lot of healing, a lot of processing and... Yeah, um, <clears throat> the last few weeks have just been a hot mess. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it has been like that for a lot of people. I've been, yeah, a lot of people I've talked to, have, either that they've been starting the year and there's some like really empowered energy or it's been like a complete hot mess and it's usually been one or the other. Um, so there's two different things going on, but I do feel like a lot of processing is going on. And it's maybe wrapping up. A lot of things are hopefully wrapping, I hope, I hope they're wrapping up so that we can, you know, let go of a lot of that old stuff and move into a better energy. Um, we'll practice. I think I've, have you done a couple interviews, Aaron, on numerology or? A couple yeah. interviews? What do you mean? You said one with me. I think I may have watched it. Ah. Oh, oh reading. Ah. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Interesting. I've just started mm -hmm. teaching myself bit by bit numerology. Awesome. Aaron's got his own That's great. Yeah, Aaron has his own method, don't you, Aaron? Mm hmm Yeah. Truth, not illusion. <laughs> What's that? I said it's the truth, not the illusion. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the name of the method. <laughs> no, 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 I just made that up. <laughs> um, do you have do you have content online or? Because that's what? what I like. I content on on like a website mm. or anything. Oh, content. Um, no. You have a website and Facebook. Right. Mm. I have a page, but I don't have, um, <clears throat> I haven't, I haven't started teaching it yet. Oh, okay. 
it's, 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 like. it's my own system mm -hmm. that I evolved over a period of 36 years. And when we met, I had no idea that he hadn't done anything online. And I'm like, let's do an interview live on Facebook. And he's like, uh, uh, uh. And I'm like, what? You're amazing. Let's just do this. Yeah. And so I didn't know until we were like in the interview. He's like, yeah, I've never done this before. I'm like, oh, you're doing great. That's the interview that I saw. Yeah. Yeah. Look, you're famous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, everyone's found you. Yeah, I think I think twelve people have seen that video, right? <laughs> They've all found you. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the first the first meeting we had, I offered to do um, readings for each person that was there at that first mm -hmm. meeting. There were six people, and so um, I did that. Um, it took about two and a half weeks, and um, I did readings for. Um, all six of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cheers for that. Some of them are, aren't here um, in the meeting now or aren't coming back, but. <clears throat> yeah, it was amazing. So that's kind of how it started. What, doing the frame reading, do you mean? Or, or being on camera? like? Yeah, just um, kind of launching. Yes, mm -hmm. launching. I think it's really good, Aaron, because obviously, like, people are seeing those videos, and that's it's really great. I think um, as as much as you can, you should keep putting as much content as in, or interview style ones up. You should maybe even YouTube, Aaron. Have you thought about starting a YouTube? I've thought about it. Yeah, you I think, think it's a good idea? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> for sure. I'll subscribe. Sorry, you guys. I'm I'm secretly laughing over here. Aaron and I have been best friends for like two years, and I've been telling him nonstop to start a YouTube channel. So continue <laughs> saying these words. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, Aaron, you have to start a YouTube now. Whoa, is that? Yeah, I think about it every day. <laughs> every day. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? Someone shouting. That's someone yelling as at you, Aaron, to start a YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even random people. Up, the person's just like, I don't know. I don't hear it. <laughs> really? <laughs> it, you guys don't hear it? No, I, I heard it. I heard it. I think it's honestly Aaron's, Aaron's people. They, they're telling you, start Aaron. <laughs> start Aaron! <laughs> wow, they're abusive. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they're like, what? <laughs> we want it. We want it now. <laughs> <laughs> they're just oh. enthusiastic about Aaron. What's that? <laughs> They're just enthusiastic about you. They really, they really want you to, <laughs> to put yourself out there. As do we all, as do we all. But again, I, I also, but I'm also. The like, next weekend or whatever after we did that. <clears throat> you're showing me pictures of this like humongous stadium where you were doing, what, what were you doing? Like readings or you were doing healings or. Uh, oh, oh, you mean show? back in August? Yeah. Oh yeah. Way back in August. Was it August? Oh, you're talking about the uh, the event at the Meriwether Post Pavilion. Oh my God, it was massive. Yeah, well, we did um, we did a, a group um, breathing, what they call a group breathing yeah. journey, with a hundred people on stage at a time. We did two of those. It was pretty pretty awesome. People had some um, profound experiences, and we went around and, and did did a little healing with them while they were breathing. Um, 45 minute journey they they took with the breath so um, I've been I've, I've been trained in that I've, I I used to have an academy and teach that and that's how um, I ended up traveling all over the U.S. just um, working with different people and um, doing the breath work so yeah so we did that and then I did a um, I did numerology at the after party for that event. It was called the Opus event. Oh, at Mer I after Mary Weather. There were 10,000 people there that weekend. So, um, and the it was a laser light and sound show with artists from seven countries that were there. Whoa. So, um, yeah, that was a cool event. Would you that feel comfortable leading us through some breath work? What's that? Would you feel comfortable le leading us through some breath work? Uh, I might. <laughs> yeah i might feel comfortable i might feel uncomfortable i might still do it anyway 
Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Alicia, so, you could say something more about that. <laughs> what would you like me to say? Um, his, his breath work is incredibly powerful. Uh, I was in bed for a year and um, <clears throat> flew him out to help me for, I think, two and a half weeks. And we did 10 breath sessions, um, connected me to myself in ways that I didn't know I could connect. And it has been with me every day since. And um, it, it, it gets me out of some PTSD situations where I end up like shaking and having like somatic um, expressions of my trauma and the breath, it, it always kind of helps me center and bring myself back. I'd be really interested in, in doing it. I think yeah. that'd be useful. Yeah, yeah. It'd be really yeah. awesome. Can you do now? Can you do now? <laughs> Please. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, just a little, yeah. little, little bit. Look. <laughs> the suspense. <laughs> <laughs> like her own work as well, and she didn't want to. Oh, um, as a that is playing God, as a channel or as a teacher, you have a job to share the information. It's their job to do it what they will and use their discernment. But if you are saying that I have this beautiful thing, that mm -hmm. is old world concepts yes. of being like, I have this thing and I don't have my own worth and value. And so I feel like if I give it away, then people aren't going to come back for more. But if you're that good, that's the thing. We need to understand our worth. You need to understand that what you do is valuable, that people are going to fucking come back, but they're not, <clears throat> if you're going to push them away and act like they're not like old enough or you know, whatever, like, don't, don't do that. Like, people shouldn't fucking do that. No. Well, um, maybe in that situation, but I still think that, like, I know she'd had instances where people used her healings on other people and it, and it messed <clears> them up. <throat> um, that was what she said, and I do, I do trust right. her. But so. Breath. It's 10 deep breaths. Okay, let's in the nose, out the mouth, 10 times. We do it together. Then our hearts and our brains are synced. Like, it doesn't have to be the secret. Like, I don't, mm. I don't like that. Hmm. And if you don't mind me saying um, how I'm feeling about this, um, Aaron, um, I am invested in what you are teaching. So if there's something that you have to share, you know, maybe if uh, we can schedule something off of this meeting, you know, that would be something if you feel called to, you know, show me this method. Um, maybe that might be something that might be more alignment because I am invested in, in what you have to share because it might help me along my journey. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great. You want to do the breath work? Or? Do the breath work? Sure. <laughs> Not you, Aaron. <laughs> I just meant, did you want to do some breathing? Just sure. think everybody. Mm. Are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's do alpha brainwave. Okay. Ten times in the mouth, out the nose. Go in the mouth, out the nose. In the mouth, out the nose. In the mouth, out the nose. In the mouth. 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 And hold. And out the nose. Ooh. Feel present. How often do you do that? 
me? How often would you practice that? Yeah. Oh, anytime I'm feeling um, flustered, but I also use it in the, the healing work that I do in metaphysical anatomy. Hmm. Yeah, that's how you relax the person into the right state. Well, depending on what we're healing, it depends on what um, brainwave I'm going to take them to. Right. So alpha it allows you to be present with the collective consciousness as well as present with yourself. Has everyone been in, has everybody been in a predominantly good space recently? Did I did I share with you guys at all about like the purging I've been going through? Like actual like I watched your video. Hmm? What? Actual throwing up? No, not throwing up. Um, no, like, uh, I made a video about it. I think Jess saw it, but like the last yeah. week or so, I've had like a stomach flu, and I, I haven't been throwing up. But I'm not gonna oh, like go. Me too. A lot of people have, and right, we were sick together last week. Yeah, and um, it lasted like a week for me, and, right. and I'm never sick. What's that? I'm never sick. Yeah, no, I don't get sick very often either. Um. And I know someone from Maryland who was going through the same thing. And it's all it's all people that, you know, are in like spiritual communities, right? Like, it's weird. And like for me, like we, me and her were talking about it. And she's like, I think it's like an energetic purge. And I was like, I think you're right, you know? And last you night- a massive solar storm this week. Yeah, you mentioned that the other day. Um, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, you know, in the chat, in the chat, right. I saw it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, me and Jess were talking last night and I was like really like venting out some anger and she, you know, she was really uh, holding the space for me. And, you know, I, I was, I was kind she of- was really angry. Like you were, you were pretty yeah. angry at, at, I wasn't, at people. I, wasn't I think angry. that's beautiful though, that you guys created that space where she, you know, it was a Yeah, place. yeah, no, it was really great. And thank you, Jess. Um, You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> I knew, I knew you were purging because I hadn't seen you in that sort of anger for a while. So I was like, it's definitely, it's definitely purging like experience here. Right. Okay. Yeah, and just to be like clear, that. it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't at her. I was talking about some other stuff, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah anger, which but is then, a valid emotion, and it needs to be expressed. Yeah, yeah. And that's it, awesome yeah. that you guys have that safe container. That's yeah. yeah. Awesome. I was just saying. I was saying to you, like, yeah. let it out, let it out, yeah. punch something, yeah. scream, whatever you have to oh, do. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, so but it, in this like group, because like not everybody's like, prepared to hold. Oh it. no, no, I, I wouldn't yeah. do that. Um, but uh, you know. That happened last night, and then, you know, I went to bed, and um, I woke up this morning, and I ended up having a dream that really kind of made me sad, and, like, I woke up, and I was really feeling sad, and, um, you know, my stomach was still bothering me this morning, and, um, like, I sat with it. I just sort of sat in the sadness, you know what I mean, and, and just sort of, like, processed it. I, I, I kind of, like, put my phone away, and I just sort of, like, was there in it, you know, and um, as soon as I came out of that emotion, my stomach started feeling better. And then I went to the meditation uh -huh. and like, it just felt great. And my stomach feels better now. So yeah, wow. I, I was, I made a video about how I was like, I think I, you know, it's like fits the Ascension flu thing. You know what I mean? Like it really feels like it was a, an energetic purge of emotional energy. And you yeah. sat with it. You didn't need to get it off of you. And you didn't judge the emotion. That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, which in the past has been difficult for me because, uh, you know, I've made a lot of videos about this. I mean, I used to make videos when I was drinking because like that was the only time I could feel certain things, you know, yeah. the only time I would allow myself to feel certain things. And I used to drink and I would get extremely hyper emotional because I was stuffing it down the rest of the time. Right. You know? Amen. And now I'm learning to allow myself to feel it. No, so that's the same thing that I was talking about earlier with the yeah. going to um, the raves and stuff. And you tapped into the ability to be able to share, but you had to drink first. And so because you ha held that, that frequency and you got you made it a memory now you could go there without the alcohol that's beautiful it took a long time though like um it wasn't until recently uh you know the situation that i was going through like i just couldn't hold it back anymore you know what i mean um you know because it was so painful and you know i was actually just so sad that it was just like there was nothing i could do it was going to come out no matter what at that point you know so um you know it just sort of was what it was, and now I'm in a different space. So I just wanted to say um, thank you for tonight. I'm going to leave. Um, uh, 
need to continue to just take care of myself. So um, I enjoyed being here and feeling the connectedness with you and, um, you know, so. Thank you, Aaron. We love you. Um, you Aaron, what, Aaron. What, what I want to say, what I wanted to say before I go is that, um, you know, all the conversation about community and community and community. And I think that the reason that we're talking about community is because that's what's up for next, you know, that it is sits in the future and mm -hmm. whenever that future is. And that, um, but the basis of it really, in, in my opinion, the basis of it is conscious connections, conscious relations. And so what we're doing here, this is, um, this is a form of it, you know, finding each other, um, all the stories about why we didn't before, or all the rest is just a story, you know, and we each have our story about it, you know, from our own personal life. Yes, I can speak just for myself, but um, I know that we each have a story about why we didn't, when we didn't, where we were, this and that, and all it is is a story. But this is a, is a platform and a way for people to find each other that may want to consider to take it a step further. And that I agree with you, Kendra, that um, I don't think that individually that any one of us, and yes, I am speaking um, not in a, a, a futuristic or prophetic sense, but maybe so, that I don't think my opinion is and my sense is that I don't think that any one of us can do what we can do together. Exactly. I'll just say yeah. it that way. Please don't get me wrong because that's not what I meant, by the way. I, I know, that's I not, know, I know. Not what I meant I at know, all. I know, I know, it's not what you meant. I'm just, a, I'm just taking it a step further. I'm just summing it all up. You know, I took it all in and I just wanted to share that. So I don't think that it's not now. I think that it just hasn't been yet. Yeah. And I refrain from using the words never and ever unless I really mean them. And um, so I think it just hasn't been yet. And so I don't want to repeat myself, but I do want to say thank you. Um, oh, you know, I want to tell I, you before you jump off, you and Alicia, you guys are from, you guys have similar vibration, just letting you know. We're from what? You guys are, I don't want to get all alien on you, but you guys are same the same we'll have to do her archetype anyways wow I interesting i don't know what it is but you guys vibrate in the same way you guys are family soul family we're all soul family but you guys vibrate very in harmony wow yeah. that would make sense like if you guys are so close here. like come on let's do this <laughs> <laughs> okay Love you well, thank all. you. Thank you. Love, Love you. Have a wonderful night. Have a good night. Bye. All right. Later. Bye. Bye. Oh, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Who's Zen? Oh. Yeah, who's Zen? Huh? Who's Zen? <laughs> hi. Oh, hi. Oh. Back. How are you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? It's like a mandala effect. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so I'm just want to everybody that's new know, well, I want everybody to know that, like, I might be abrasive sometimes, but just call me on my shit if I ever offend you because I won't know. And I can't handle when people just go away because it triggers so much abandonment. So if I piss you off or if I trigger you or if it's too much to handle, just be like, hey, and just let me know. <laughs> Like, or else, well, sure, I'll just go it. away and then I'll be sure. all by myself for the rest of my life. And I don't want that. I'll say for myself, uh, you know, I, I kind of was just sort of watching what was going on earlier. And, uh, you know, I just, I tend to be more of the observer in, in group conflict until I need to step in. Um, and, you know, like, in that situation with, with Aaron, I, I just would let him do what he wanted to do, you know, because in my opinion, it was his decision. 
right. you know, period. Right. No question. I don't want to do it. Okay, done. Um, yeah. sorry, can I interject just for a moment? I feel like Kendra has been channeling my energy that I have felt towards Aaron for about a year. So I feel like it was somewhat appropriate as well. Uh, okay. Oh. I don't know the man. I don't know the man. I'm just saying from an outside perspective, if someone says they don't want to do something, I'm not going to push him. Well, I wasn't talking about trying to force him. I was just, um, yeah. he, he has um, asked me to, like, we've worked together. Uh, so he's asked me to mirror when I, when he's pushing people away because he doesn't, uh. de he doesn't desire to do that. Okay. Hey, that changes things so, then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, you to do that. Totally he's, yeah. yeah. Okay. He asked me, I know I did it in a very abrasive way. It was just because I was feeling it that strongly. Like he was pushing us all away. And I know yeah. that that's not in his heart. Well, yeah, you have, you have a relationship intense. with him that I'm unaware of. So like I said, right, that's right. why I'm just observing. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, did, I wasn't uh, aware of that either. Like I was just observing that too. Um, but that makes more sense. I think like, I think it makes sense now that we have a bit more of a backstory as well. Right. Like, Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Because me and Aaron have had our own things Good. and I'm like, oh, well, you know, I didn't reach out to you after that because I felt like this push away. I felt like if I wasn't, I felt like I couldn't meet your needs. I felt like if I couldn't show up for you all the time that you were going to push me away. And so I, it felt unsafe. Right. And so we had, you know, this whole understanding of like, hey, will you let me know when I'm doing this and, and I'll let you know when you're doing this or when I'm feeling this so that right. we can have that mirror because otherwise we just offend people or we just push people away and then we don't realize why we're alone okay that makes sense right and i can relate to that you know i talked about being isolated and alone earlier and i used to push a lot of people away right and we don't do it i don't think that we do it well i mean it's a coping mechanism but then we get, are all by ourselves i think that it's mostly unconscious frankly right. You know, yeah, I don't think it's something that we choose to do because oh, often we find ourselves in an isolated place. We don't like it. <laughs> you right. know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, well, I'm glad you said that, Alicia, because I was like, oh my God, she hasn't really like talked to me yet. Now she's going <laughs> to. <laughs> wow, what a mirror. That's awesome. See, yeah, I would have internalized that. I'm glad we talked about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad we did too. Just got that out yeah. there. More understanding. Oh, feels way more in the flow. You guys feel it? Mm hmm. More yeah. yeah, it's good to have like that full broader understanding because things can be you know if you don't have backstory right. things can be taken the wrong way um, very easily. So we just got to be really clear about you know where things are coming from and um, right. and like I don't know if Aaron's comfortable with people like him like people knowing that that's his weakness or whatever. And maybe we can work that work with him through that and like support yeah, him through I that. That was his weakness. You did. Oh well, okay. I didn't mean it like that, but you said you know. He wants right. help in an area that obviously isn't his strongest, maybe feel. And I'm not, I'm not saying weakness is bad. We all have them. God, now I'm freaking <laughs> yeah, <laughs> feeling well. like I have to defend yeah, myself. No, 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 no. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, we all need that. So like if you, if any of us have, have a, a feeling like we always do this, like I always trigger the shit out of people. So like, let me know. So I'm saying that this is where I can't see myself clearly. We need other people to mirror, be an accurate mirror. Cause obviously we've, we all have a similar vibration in that we didn't get accurate mirrors growing up. We were told whatever we felt, it wasn't okay to feel that way or that we needed to feel another way or that how we were as ourselves was not okay. It didn't fit in. It didn't get us love. So like now it's really important with this conscious community that we give each other accurate mirrors. So when you're needing that mirror where it's your blind spot, I wouldn't necessarily say weakness, but your blind spot, like, like let us know so that we can we can be able to show up for you in that way and give you that positive mirroring but sometimes we're going to need to be able oh, oh, just kidding i'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no that's beautifully said and i agree See, and i feel everything so when i'm like hey how are you doing how are you doing understand like i'm because i'm feeling everything so when there's like any wave of like stuckness i'm like uh, I can't get like normal myself because I need to either transmute it or, you know, I like, that's kind of my yeah. job in life, I guess. Otherwise I'm just kind of like, ah, <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck's wrong with her? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah. It's very good. We have a really good space of non-judgment going. And, and right. Here. Love this. Yeah. And I would love beautiful. to get to know Zen. I don't know where they yeah. are. <laughs> Yeah, Zen. Yeah. I think she's listening, but she just has her camera off. 
That's, oh. how, that's why she popped in like that when we said, hey, who's Zen? Ah. Oh, oh, okay, get it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thanks for holding the space for us. We love you. Yeah, no Thank you. Thank yeah, you. see, oh, you should just. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so exciting. Awesome. Like yeah, when it comes to group settings, I'm more of a listener. Right. That's awesome. But you're holding the space. Yeah. You can teach listening school. That's beautiful. <laughs> you know, I'm yeah, I'm a little <laughs> engaged the vibe of what's going on in the room. It's like, do I want to join or do I just want to sit here in zone? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, group things can be daunting as well, and it takes a lot of courage. Like I always say, like thank you so much for everyone showing up and being courageous. Um, it's daunting, you know. It's daunting for me sometimes to get up here and do it. Um, I'm sure Kendra feels the same way. Sometimes we're like, oh my god, how's it gonna go? You know? I'm like, but I can't wait. I can't sit in a room where we're all like, hey, we're waiting for it to get started. Like watch the the video we did over Christmas break when you were um, gone. God, I'm talking like I'm in school. When you were gone and Aaron was gone, and I had to sit there and, and hold the space <laughs> and into the room, and I'm like, get out of so <laughs> Christmas. Uh, okay. Yeah, it can be uh, very it's difficult. It's a comfortable feeling for me ever. So, like, just especially yeah. when it's like a lot of energy. That's why I've asked like you or Aaron to like hold that space when I'm oh, yeah. feeling like it's a lot of pressure. Yeah, I think it's good. And I think it's great. Um, I mean, it's helping me to push out of my boundaries too, because I have been someone who like, I, I say used to, and sometimes I have flares of it, but I used to struggle heaps with social anxiety and stuff like that. So doing this pushes me out of my comfort zone. Um, like I don't, I don't have my social anxiety as bad as I used to, but again, sometimes it comes up and that's why I do these things to really be like, go, you know, right. do it and, and push yourself. And, um, but it's not easy for anybody, whether you're like, more talkative, less talkative. It's it takes bravery to get on here. So it's amazing that everyone is and appreciate yeah. all of you. For me, um, I've been running from group chats for as long as I can remember. And this is my third one today. <gasps> wow, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. Wow. <laughs> oh, we're Do you feel fine it's helping you? I mean, my heart's racing right now talking about it, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. It's, it's well, I, I used to have uh, I used to have huge fears around doing this kind of stuff too. Um, when I started my channel, I was scared out of my damn mind. That's mm. one of the reasons why I just when I did it, I just went completely nuts because I was like, I'm just gonna do this. Like, I don't care about anybody. You know, <laughs> that I had to adopt that mentality of like, I'm just gonna be like the complete. I, I went from like quiet as a mouse to complete disaster because that's the only way. I <laughs> <laughs> totally relate. Totally relate. My first webinar class that I taught, where these, I'm supposed to be the teacher, and like I can teach you when we're on the phone, but like it was my first webinar where I'm seeing their faces too, and I got on there and I was like, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 feel so uncomfortable and then it was making me feel uncomfortable to see my face because I, already <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I said I, like, I was like uh yeah so do you guys have any questions okay no. <laughs> oh, <bye. laughs> that was horrible I, I I messaged my mentor at the time and I was like look how horrible it is I'm like how do you do this like, oh. like every other week like I can't do it it's so I'm horrible I'm gonna fail and she was like we were doing just fine, you know. <laughs> uh, Dan, Dan, I don't know if you were trying to talk, but I think you're muted, buddy. Oh, I muted him because he was making a glass sound. I don't know. Oh. Okay, he's unmuted now. Okay. Did you get a haircut? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Did you it get a haircut, Dan? I don't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> don't remember if you got a haircut? Oh, I got a yeah, I got a haircut. It was uh, like Wednesday. Oh, nice. I like it. Looking snazzy. That looks nice. Yeah. Oh, I like that one. That, that man, one. Ban, Jess. Man, Ban. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Dan. I'm coming for you. <laughs> not, not the Dan, Ban. Just the man, Ban. Not the Dan, Ban. <laughs> Dan's, Dan's oh. the one exception. Oh, oh my God. Maybe, <laughs> stop playing with Joseph. Dan, maybe I'm excited because I don't know what happened. She's like, I know, it's not Dan. Now, every time you text me, she's like, oh, Dan's texting you. And I'm like, how do you know? She's like, because it was one of my signs. 
Oh, oh. I said I would give a public shout out to my daughter's YouTube channel, so go check it out. It's Mindful Superpowers. Go yes. She only has 10 subscribers, and she's like, Mom, I give you shout outs. You need to give a shout out. And she was like, oh. if you guys want to check out my mom's channel, it's Kendra Divine Mentors Purposes. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I, I will, I will subscribe just to give her a little bump, you know? Oh, she's so yeah, awesome. she's so cute. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I will also shout, give her a shout out on one of my videos. Okay. Videos yeah, no, that, I will too. Little yeah. shout out. Yeah. Yeah, Megan's yeah. awesome. Yeah, she's you're Megan. She even did tarot cards the other day. Oh, oh my did? god, wow. I gotta check it out. You gotta send me a video because, uh, you know, I'll, I'll I'll watch it and then I'll, you know, when I make my next video, I'll be like, hey, you know, my friend's daughter's making, you know, making a right. channel, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but I need to know something about it so, you know, I can say something. <laughs> right. Okay. Does anybody okay. have anything else to say? No? 21? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Love you guys. Yeah, love you guys. Thanks Bye. for having me again. Thank you. Yeah. Sick of getting so close. Second chances never come for free We'll see I wanna roll the dice Cause there's a chance I could get this right And I'm hoping to land on something I like With you on the line You make me wanna try, try, try you make me wanna try, try, try You make me, you make me wanna try, try